So it is a cultural signifier, but it is not the only one that we, we do identify. The fact that we are a very social, uh, communal culture as well. Taste makers. Taste, I'm, taste makers is on a different aspect, but I'm thinking about us as Arabs. Traditionally, we are very communal, very social, we're very family-based, uh, very respectful of, of, of our elderly. All of that follows from culture. But at the same time, us being tastemakers, us being big spenders, us having an image when we travel abroad, us creating a new image for ourselves in the country when people come to visit us, that is all part of the melting pot. Culture. But that's not tradition, though. No, no that's, that's culture. culture. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's culture. That's culture. Yeah. That's, so, that's so culture. tradition trumps culture. I would it's not say rock, culture. paper, scissors. No, no. Dude. I'm, I'm asking you a simple question. Tradition, I'm not saying it's rock, paper, scissors. Tradition inspires because, culture. Because, yes. Tradition inspires culture. Doesn't okay, Trump that's what Turk said at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and again, we're going back to it. So basically, tradition is over culture. No, no, no. It's not over. If tradition is the fount and culture is the result. Because you're saying culture changes with time, but tradition stays still. Traditions also evolve with time. Like the traditions of your parents are not the same traditions of their of their parents, and the traditions you're going to be passing along to your you know, descendants are going to be different than the ones that your parents gave you. True. Because they're going to be inspired by the time that you live in. So tradition is more personal, culture is more, I don't know. I think you can have traditions that are that are shared across across the country, but there are often plenty of traditions that are specific to each family. If you want me to... To like, each family unit, to each tribe. To, each. To, to put a dividing line between tradition and culture, I think tradition is um, you honoring the past, while culture is you living your present. That's a great reason. Oh, respect. Yeah. Yeah. Respect. Man, this is why we have them. Yeah. Summary, man. 74 episodes later. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason to have Turks. I'm so, uh, I appreciate that, guys. Uh, you want to see my, you want to have my take on it? Yeah. I mean, As if a you guy had who, to. Yeah. Who didn't grow up here, I had that problem trying to separate both of them because it was always used as a tool that if I go to the right and say, why you're like this, they told me it's tradition. If I say you're like this, say it's culture. Then when I keep asking, okay, what's your tradition? What's your culture? It's the same. It's it's very hard to separate. Them. Exactly. At that point in time. So if it, if you do the same thing for your tradition or culture, then it's just your tradition. But again, it's it's at some point in time we were very intertwined with how things are always have always been, and how things should always be. You know, we've done things for the, in this way for a long time. Why change it now? This is how we are, right? I don't call it. Yes, and. Nowadays, the, the mindset that we have as a country, as a society, as, as a peoples is no, I do have these solid foundations that inspire me in my life and keep me grounded. But at the same time, I am open to change. I'm open to innovation. I'm open to different opinions. I'm open to different lifestyles and being accepting of all of that in the melting pot of what is now. So culture. you think you can change culture faster than you can change tradition? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. So again, so tradition is like, it's like the I'm gonna say the stone, the foundation. Uh, is it the foundation though? I mean, it's a it's it's like if you're drawing, because if it's the foundation, then culture is growing out of. Let's it. say it's the roots. Let's say it's the roots and the ground, and and culture is is whatever is you know flowering on your leaves, because that's what culture is. Right? Culture flower. That's what they they say a cultural flowering. And I've never heard that in my life. No, no, th th that happens. And the Renaissance was a cultural flowering. You know. Uh, us as uh, Arabs and Muslims, we've had different periods of cultural flowering where culture advanced and jumped forward because of science, because of translations, because of, of philosophy. All of that happens over periods of time. As Arabs. As Arabs, as Muslims. And 